Today, we have a fascinating topic to delve into, one that might surprise many of you. We're talking about how Ireland is secretly becoming the richest country in the world. In this video, we'll uncover the reasons behind this economic transformation, exploring various aspects that have contributed to Ireland's rise. So, let's dive right in. Number 8. Early Years of Economic Development Before Ireland became an independent country in 1922, Ireland was part of the British Empire, where Irish people were considered second-class citizens. When Ireland gained independence from Britain in 1922, at the time, Irish people saw that free market economies like the United States were going through the Great Depression. But communist economies like the Soviet Union were experiencing rapid industrial growth. Ireland put high tariffs on all imported goods to discourage importing from other economies. The goal of this policy was to make Ireland a self-sufficient economy. It was a mistake because protectionism may work in the short term. But in the long run, it can be a devastating blow to the nation's economy. In 1957, the Irish government started encouraging foreign investment and slowly lifted trade barriers to improve economic growth. It turned nationalized corporations into private companies to compete in the private market and become more efficient. These economic policies worked and many international companies started coming to Ireland to establish their European headquarters. In 1980, Apple established its headquarters in Ireland. But none of these things made life better for Irish citizens because companies would just set up their offices in Ireland with some accountants rather than creating jobs. They transferred their earnings to Ireland to avoid paying taxes. Number 7. Ireland's Economic Transformation To truly understand how Ireland is becoming one of the wealthiest countries in the world, we need to take a look at its remarkable economic transformation. The journey began in the late 20th century when Ireland shifted from an agrarian economy to a thriving knowledge-based economy. This transition was largely fueled by several key factors. Low corporate tax rate. One of the most well-known factors that contributed to Ireland's economic growth is its attractive corporate tax rate. At just 12.5%, Ireland has one of the lowest corporate tax rates in the developed world. This has enticed numerous multinational corporations to establish their European headquarters in the country, boosting job creation and investment. Foreign direct investment played a pivotal role in Ireland's rise. Global giants like Google, Apple and Microsoft had set up major operations here, attracted by the favorable tax environment, highly skilled workforce and across the European market. This influx in FDI has significantly contributed to Ireland's economic prosperity. Number 6. Education and Innovation But a low tax rate and FDI alone don't tell the full story. Ireland's emphasis on education and innovation has been equally crucial in propelling its economic success. Investment in Education Ireland prioritized education by investing heavily in its universities and research institutions. The emphasis on quality education has resulted in a highly skilled workforce, which is a magnet for tech companies and other industries seeking top-tier talent, innovation and research. Moreover, Ireland's commitment to research and innovation cannot be underestimated. The establishment of research centers and partnerships between academia and industry has fostered an environment conducive to breakthroughs. This has led to development of cutting-edge technologies and products, further boosting Ireland's economic growth. Number 5. The EU and Global Trade Another key player in Ireland's economic prosperity is its membership in the European Union. Access to the European market being a part of the EU has granted Ireland seamless access to the world's largest single market. This has facilitated trade, allowed businesses to expand their reach, and attracted more investment. Ireland's strategic location as a bridge between Europe and the Americas has only enhanced its importance in global trade. The EU's economic policies, regulations, and standards have helped maintain a stable economic environment in Ireland. Moreover, 
Ireland has been a beneficiary of EU funding programs, which have been instrumental in supporting various sectors such as agriculture, research, and regional development. Ireland's membership in the European Union has played a pivotal role in its economic growth and transformation. It highlights the benefits of being a part of a single market, the ease of trade, Ireland's strategic position as a gateway to Europe, and the challenges and opportunities posed by Brexit. The segment emphasizes the collaborative nature of the EU and its influence on global trade negotiations, illustrating how Ireland's EU membership has significantly contributed to its emergence as one of the wealthiest countries in the world. Number four, the role of culture and workforce. While economic policies and global factors have certainly played their part, we must also recognize the cultural and workforce aspects that have contributed to Ireland's ascent. Entrepreneurial culture. Ireland's entrepreneurial culture has been a driving force behind its economic success. The Irish are known for their resourcefulness and willingness to take risks. This culture of innovation has led to the emergence of numerous startups and a vibrant ecosystem of small and medium-sized enterprises, skilled and multilingual workforce. Additionally, Ireland boasts a young, skilled and multilingual workforce. English-speaking proficiency and a diverse talent pool have attracted international businesses, making Ireland an ideal location for companies looking to serve both English and non-English-speaking markets. 3. Irish Economic Miracle Companies were coming to Ireland because of its low tax rates, but Irish government did not want multinational companies to set up their tax headquarters with few accountants. Instead, it wanted to hire Irish people to improve their standard of living. The Irish administration in the 80s asked, what are the obstacles foreign businesses are facing in hiring Irish people? One of the reasons for this was labor legislation which was so strict that hiring and firing made difficult, which made corporations reluctant to hire Irish people. So the government started liberalizing its labor legislation and other policies to make it easier for businesses to hire in Ireland. These policies soon worked miraculously as businesses began employing Irish people and improving the economy. Throughout the 1990s and early 2000s, Ireland was called by many people the Celtic Tiger because of its enormous growth. From 1995 to 2000, Ireland's economy grew consistently at a rate of 9 or 10 percent. It outpaced any other economy at that period. In 1980, corporate tax rates were 50 percent, one of the highest in the world. But in the early 2000s, corporate tax rates were just 12.5, one of the lowest in the world. This reduction in the tax rate was an incentive for many foreign businesses to arrive in Ireland. With low taxes and low ECB interest rates, many people domestically were starting companies that were fueling the economic growth in Ireland. 2. Challenges and Future Outlook Of course, no journey to becoming one of the wealthiest countries is without challenges. Let's discuss some of the hurdles Ireland might face and its future outlook. Housing and Infrastructure The economic success story isn't without its downsides. Rapid economic growth has put pressure on housing and infrastructure. Rising property prices and limited housing availability have led to affordability issues, particularly in urban areas. Brexit uncertainties. Furthermore, the uncertainty surrounding Brexit has raised concerns about trade disruptions and economic shifts. Ireland's close economic ties with the UK make it particularly vulnerable to the repercussions of Brexit sustainability and environmental concerns. As we move into the future, sustainability and environmental concerns are becoming increasingly important. Ireland's economic growth needs to be balanced with responsible environmental practices. Number one, conclusion. Ireland's journey to become one of the richest countries in the world is a tale of strategic policies, investments in education and innovation, a favorable tax environment, and a skilled workforce. Its membership in the EU and access to global markets have also played pivotal roles. However, challenges like housing, Brexit, and sustainability must be addressed for a sustainable and inclusive economic growth. 
Many people don't know that Ireland is an airline powerhouse. Many multinational aircraft leased companies currently operate in Ireland. Ireland manages nearly 22% of the fleet of aircraft worldwide and a 40% share of the global fleet of leased aircraft. The country is one of the largest exporters of pharmaceuticals, medical devices, and software-related goods and services. Today, the Irish economy is diversified, and even in the COVID crisis, its economy was still resilient and continued growing. Ireland went from a poor and third world country to a highly advanced economy. Ireland became a European headquarters for international corporations because of its stable political and economic system. Please subscribe to Travel the World. Thank you for watching.